so easy for an empath to destroy narcissists. Even killed him. Hello everyone, welcome aboard. Delighted to have you join us. I eagerly await your insights. Today's agenda revolves around exploring the 10 behaviors exhibited by detrimental narcissists that drive empaths to the brink of insanity. Before delving into the nitty gritty, it's imperative to emphasize that the forthcoming discourse is tailored for individuals grappling with emotional abusers who inflict harm on themselves and others. This discussion excludes scenarios involving perilous or potentially violent individuals. If you find yourself ensnared in such circumstances, prioritize your safety above all else and seek assistance promptly from medical professionals, law enforcement, or other trusted authorities. Refrain from jeopardizing your safety or that of your loved ones. Now that this crucial point is underscored, let's dive into the crux of the matter. Prepare to uncover the actions that are bound to agitate your narcissist profoundly. Take diligent notes as we navigate through them. But wait, don't overlook the opportunity to subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell before proceeding to the next segment. By doing so, you ensure receiving weekly updates brimming with invaluable tips to enrich your life. Let's tackle the first point. Avoid getting ensnared in their conflicts. Narcissists thrive amidst chaos and drama, relishing the opportunity to showcase their self-loathing and animosity. They weaponize their victims as emotional punching bags, inflicting wounds with their verbal assaults. But what if you opt out of participating in their skirmishes? What if you refrain from taking their attacks, criticisms or projections personally, instead offering them a blank stare? By refusing to entangle yourself in their deleterious web, you diminish their power over you. The narcissist will experience frustration and impotence, unable to bend you to their will or manipulate your emotions. This newfound resilience renders you less susceptible to their venomous assaults, leaving them seething in their incapacity to elicit a reaction. Now on to the second aspect, disregard for their dilemmas. Have you encountered individuals so consumed by their own tumultuous affairs gossip and conflicts that they require a figurative jolt to snap them out of their reverie. This encapsulates the narcissistic modus operandi. Employing various stratagems to alter your perception of them, they crave admiration, dominance and authority. But what if you demonstrate indifference and apathy? What if you convey that their fabricated narratives hold no sway over your thoughts, emotions or actions? Just picture how confused they will be when they realize how little you care about them. Just think about how angry they will be when they can't change your mood anymore. When you are focused on living your life, reaching your goals, being happy, and taking care of your own business, they lose control over you and become crazy. So, show them that their problems, their efforts to get you to care about them, and any other tricks they use don't matter much to you. Third, show them to other people. Narcissists are very good at tricking people into believing what they want them to believe and making themselves look good. What if though their carefully crafted image fell apart in front of a crowd? What if you told them they were lying, exaggerating, or really not very good at what they do? Imagine the fear that flashes through their eyes when they are directly asked a question and how they can't answer without giving away who they really are. Think about how upset they are when their flaws or mistakes are shown to everyone. In this way, you take away their power over you and show them as they really are. You and everyone else can no longer be fooled or tricked by them because everyone can see their real character. So. Don't be afraid to talk to them directly, show them what they're really like in public, and refuse to put up with their lies and schemes. Don't back down. Let them know you can see through their tricks and lies. 4. Let them know who they really are. 
What would happen if you stopped believing their complicated web of lies and told them who they really were? What if you weren't going to believe their lies and let them control you any longer? You are basically telling them, I see through your lies and manipulative tactics. When you question their feelings and personal stories, you show that you won't let them trick you and that you can figure out what they really want. But how are you going to do this? When you hear a narcissist talking badly about someone or making up a story to make you feel sorry for them, don't be afraid to question their story and let them know that you will not let their lies go unchecked. Their game is thrown off because you are no longer playing, leaving them unsure of how to move forward. Number five, show that you don't respect them. What would happen if you treated them badly the way they treat you badly? What if you ignored them and made them feel like they didn't matter? Being rude and disrespectful to narcissists is a strong way to get back at them. By acting the same way they do, you show that you will no longer let them control or hurt you. You will no longer put up with their complaints or judgments. But how are you going to do this? First, don't let them take over the talk or make you feel bad about yourself. Stay strong and don't back down from challenges. Let them know that you won't stand for their selfish behavior and that their efforts to scare you will no longer work. Six, ignore the fact that they exist. Say you laughed or gave them a look that said, you can't be serious in response to their attempts to trick you. Not paying attention to them can weaken them. You are not giving them the attention and respect they want by not taking their selfish behavior seriously. Their lies and tricks have no effect on you because you show them that. Do so carefully though, and watch how they respond. When they make up complicated details and add to their stories, they might lose it when their efforts to trick others don't work. Seventh, being completely honest. Narcissists have a weak sense of who they are and are great at controlling other people. What if you told them the truth, no matter how painful it was? What if you told them without fear what they really needed to hear, even if it wasn't what they wanted to hear? Being brutally honest with narcissists is a strong way to find out what kind of person they are. You might see them fall apart when you tell them the cold, hard truth. Narcissists don't like hearing facts that hurt their inflated sense of self-importance, especially when those facts go against what they think about themselves. Be brave and say what other people might be afraid to say. Watch as their act falls apart when they are faced with the results of their deeds. Number 8. Completely turning off. Narcissists get pleasure from making up a false sense of who they are. But what if you saw past their facade and found out how weak, meaningless, and useless they really are? By breaking through their veil of fantasy, you can take away their power. When you see how weak they really are and how empty their own sense of worth is, the game is over for them. They know that you can see through their act, which makes them look weak. They can't keep up the act that everything is okay any longer. Number nine, not caring. Ignoring that they exist can be a very effective way to make narcissists weak. You're giving them the fuel they need for their ego by not paying attention to them. This can drive them crazy and keep them from getting the approval they need so badly at the same time. It is worth the work, even though it is hard. Even if the quiet is unbearable, it is important to keep going. Believe me, the option is much harder than putting up with their attempts to control you. Don't pay attention to what they want and watch as their power slowly fades. 10. Get up and walk away. If you give up on them and walk away, it means that you are no longer connected to them in any way. It says, you don't matter anymore and I don't care. It means taking your attention, energy, care and worry off of their narcissistic supply. It means you don't want to talk to them anymore. I know this isn't a game or an easy job. I agree that it's not as easy as it sounds. But trust me, when I say it is possible, 
and very important for your health. I hope this conversation has taught you something useful. If it helped you, please consider clicking like and sharing the most important thing you learned. Also, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to be notified when new videos come out all week. Remember what you're worth and how to set yourself free. Thanks for watching. See you in the next movie. Welcome back to our channel. We're truly grateful for your presence today. In this video, we delve into a widespread concern, the aftermath of severing ties with a narcissist. Many individuals ponder what goes through the narcissist's mind when you cut off all communication. The narcissist's response hinges on the duration of your acquaintance with them. Have you been in their orbit for years or mere months? The depth and duration of your relationship with this individual prior to going no contact are pivotal in understanding their behavior. When you initiate no contact with narcissists, you cease all communication. You erect a barrier, refusing any form of interaction. Narcissists perceive this as your responsibility to re-establish contact. Initially, they may display resilience, convinced they can bend you to their will. Their mindset is one of superiority, expecting you to capitulate. Why do they harbor such beliefs? Because you possess emotions and empathy, qualities they interpret as weaknesses. To a narcissist, emotional vulnerability equates to weakness. They anticipate that your emotions will override your resolve, compelling you to reach out to them. This is their perspective. It's crucial to maintain steadfast adherence to no interaction with narcissists. No contact means exactly that, irrespective of the circumstances, be it their birthday or an occasion involving mutual acquaintances. No contact signifies your unequivocal decision to sever ties and move on from the relationship. After cutting off communication, the narcissist won't lose sleep over it. They're devoid of empathy and seldom fret over your well-being. Instead, they swiftly move on to their next target or source of attention. Often, they've already been grooming a replacement while in your company. Narcissists typically have contingency plans to evade solitude, as they dread being alone and crave validation and companionship. With you out of the picture, the narcissist redirects their focus to their new target, someone fresh and captivating. They'll pour their energy into this new source of attention, ensuring they always have someone to fill the void. Should the new supply prove unsatisfactory or resistant to manipulation, they may reminisce about you. This is why closure is seldom offered by narcissists. They prefer to keep their options open and avoid burning bridges. Only in extreme circumstances, marked by a significant falling out, will the narcissist sever ties completely. Otherwise, they're likely to resurface, gauging your receptiveness to reconciliation. If they believe there's still something to gain from you, such as sexual intimacy, financial resources, or social status, they'll attempt to hoover you back into the relationship. Their return often coincides with dissatisfaction with their current supply or the perception that you've cooled down. Perhaps you ceased communication due to suspicions of infidelity or gaslighting, leaving them feeling temporarily thwarted. In such instances, they'll bide their time investing in their new supply before circling back to reel you back in. A message may appear, innocently asking, how have you been? or long time no talk, or even I miss you. The narcissist seeks to reconnect, yet conveniently sidesteps the disagreement that led to the breakup. Dodging accountability for their actions, they choose to brush past it as if it never occurred. You might find yourself disheartened, realizing you were deceived by the narcissist's facade and their promises of a shared future. Left alone after cutting ties, you're left without a backup plan, having believed in the authenticity of your bond with the narcissist.
the pain, bewilderment, and betrayal linger, leaving you questioning the abrupt shift from apparent commitment to inconsistency. Once the narcissist senses they've regained your attention, their displays of affection diminish, the love bombing ceases, and they resume their quest for a new source of validation. It's all a game to them, a cycle of ensnaring and discarding, driven by insatiable greed. They fail to appreciate the presence of a genuine companion, always seeking more, perhaps from a supplementary source, while keeping you on standby. As you see through their manipulations and choose to maintain your distance, the narcissist redirects their efforts to other targets. You may or may not be aware of this. Eventually, they may attempt to reel you back in through hovering tactics. So, do narcissists miss you during no contact? It's crucial to understand their mindset. They may miss what you provided, but not as genuine love. True love doesn't allow for letting go. Through experience, I've come to understand that if a narcissist truly loved you, they would never let you slip away. While they may have a liking for you, narcissists consistently prioritize themselves above all else. Their attention shifts to their new source of validation, sidelining you in the process. Many narcissists assume you'll remain available, believing no one else will offer the same level of care and devotion. They hold on to the notion that you'll be waiting for them, even if you've moved on. This self-centered mindset drives their actions. A narcissist feels a significant blow when they discover you've begun dating someone else. They dislike the idea of others benefiting from what they perceive as their territory. Their focus on maintaining multiple sources of validation distracts them from any lingering thoughts of you. The narcissist often resurfaces during periods of drought, seeking to reclaim your attention through covering tactics and love bombing. When a narcissist attempts to rekindle the relationship, it's crucial to question their motives. Would they have risked losing you if they genuinely cared? True love would prompt them to address issues promptly, rather than reappearing months or years later with ulterior motives. If a narcissist goes weeks without contacting you, it's essential to recognize their self-serving nature. They prioritize their own needs above all else. Any return on their part is typically driven by their failure elsewhere or their desire to exploit what you can offer. They may view you as a pawn in their manipulative game, testing your response to their reappearance. Engaging with a narcissist only exposes your vulnerability to their manipulative tactics. Reflect on the deception, manipulation, and betrayal you've experienced at their hands. Offering them your time and attention only serves to empower narcissistic behavior, perpetuating the cycle of lies and manipulation. They may bank on their attractive appearance to win you over, but looks alone don't determine worth. Both narcissists and non-narcissists can be visually appealing. When narcissists run out of other tactics, they may rely on their looks to sway people. Many fall under their spell, blinded by their allure. They may entertain the idea of reconciliation, believing the narcissist has changed, but reuniting with a narcissist only perpetuates the cycle of abuse. They might put on a facade for a brief period, but the underlying issues will resurface. Eventually, someone will be ghosted. If a narcissist manages to lure you back, they'll likely resume their manipulative behavior and seek validation from others. Allowing them back into your life may lead them to view you as desperate or gullible. Their respect for you may diminish now that they have you back in their clutches. They'll assume you'll always be there, regardless of any conflicts or attempts to break away. This pattern of breaking up and reconciling with narcissists is often viewed as desperate behavior, signaling a willingness to tolerate their mistreatment and lowering your own value. It's crucial to address conflicts with your partner early on. Arguments are inevitable, and everyone needs space at times. 
Prolonged breaks can be detrimental to relationships, leading both parties to seek companionship elsewhere. Upon reconciliation, questions about interactions during the break only serve to exacerbate the underlying issues. If conflicts cannot be resolved, particularly in committed relationships or marriages with children, it may indicate fundamental compatibility issues. Effective problem-solving is vital in these situations, as the well-being of children is also at stake. Understanding the consequences of your actions is essential for maintaining healthy relationships and family dynamics. Regrettably, many individuals act impulsively without considering the repercussions on others or the dynamics within the family. Opt for a clean break when implementing the no-contact rule. Walk away from the narcissist, acknowledge the toxicity of the relationship, and recognize that the negatives outweighed the positives. Relationships lacking in trust are destined to fail. Living in constant fear of deceit is detrimental to one's well-being. Although going no contact may be challenging and isolating, it is preferable to remaining in a toxic relationship indefinitely. Allowing a narcissist to continually violate your boundaries will ultimately lead to the breakdown of the relationship, with either party eventually departing. Remember, life is short, and squandering it on toxic individuals is a grave mistake. I've learned this through experience. Respect your time and refrain from investing it in liars, gaslighters, or manipulators. There's no need to engage in their games. Let them behave childishly. Mature adults can offer support during life's challenges and engage in meaningful conversations. When dealing with narcissists, employ the grey rock strategy. Make yourself uninteresting and indifferent to them. Block their attempts at communication. If someone they know reaches out to you, maintain silence and treat them as if they do not exist. If you share children with a narcissist, seek legal advice and adhere to custody and financial arrangements. That's what implementing the no contact rule entails. We trust you found this video informative. If you enjoyed it, please like, share and subscribe to our channel for more engaging content. We value your time and eagerly anticipate our next video. Have a wonderful day. I want to extend my heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you for taking the time to visit this platform. Your presence here is what fuels my passion for creating content on YouTube. Thank you immensely for your support. For those who are new to this channel, I encourage you to subscribe and turn on notifications to stay updated with our latest uploads. Let's dive right in. Narcissists, undoubtedly, harbour deep-seated biases. Their envy often leads them to harbour dislike and even disdain towards nearly everyone around them. Even if they don't openly express their animosity towards you, it's palpable. They may appear friendly to prevent you from perceiving them as a threat, but their true intentions lie in waiting for an opportunity to harm you. Narcissists are adept at wearing masks, portraying themselves as charming and affable while harboring ulterior motives. Therefore, it's crucial for anyone susceptible to manipulation to fortify their defenses. Narcissists lurk everywhere, potentially targeting you without your awareness. Once you realize the extent of their aversion towards you, it's essential not to let them manipulate your emotions. Here are several indicators of a narcissist's hostility towards you. While they may not explicitly verbalize these sentiments, the underlying hatred is a potent force. It signifies a deep-seated dislike or even animosity towards someone or something, particularly affecting those closest to them, such as their partner or family members. Perception can often be deceiving, but observation seldom fails. The actions, words, and even the gaze of an individual can unveil volumes about their sentiments towards you. Actions indeed speak louder than words, 
especially since narcissists seldom openly exhibit hostility. When it comes to deciphering people, actions are the true tellers of their intentions. The covert maneuvers of a narcissist are designed to strike at those they despise or seek to punish discreetly. Their calculated actions often lead to a tangled web of deceit, leaving the victim to bear the brunt of false accusations and rumours. The treatment you receive from a narcissist is a clear indicator of their disdain towards you. Signs of being taken for granted include being lied to, ignored, or subjected to intentional harm or embarrassment. Even if they offer apologies afterward, the options for such demeaning behaviour are limitless. Unfortunately, we may not discern the true nature of a narcissist until it's too late. By then, the damage inflicted may be irreparable, as they excel in concealing their true feelings or convincing us that any turmoil we experience is of our own making. Narcissists spare no effort in masking their true sentiments towards others. In this intricate dance, we find ourselves pitted against a shrewd adversary who strikes when the opportunity arises. To cloak their true intentions, a narcissist must don a facade of amiability and reliability. Thus, we are confronted with a foe masquerading as a confidant, kin or trusted ally. When slander and fabrications are wielded to tarnish your reputation and turn allies into adversaries, the charade reaches its zenith. Their fabrications serve as a testament to their disdain for you and their intent to inflict harm. A person capable of such deceit in your presence demonstrates a blatant disregard for your well-being. Therefore, the moment you catch them in a lie without a hint of remorse, it becomes evident they will repeat the offence. Yet, can someone truly orchestrate a campaign of falsehoods aimed at turning others against you? Undoubtedly, one can fall victim to the deception of a master manipulator and find themselves swayed by their lies. The adeptness with which they sow doubt about your mental state or character, despite evidence to the contrary, serves as a glaring warning. Remaining in the orbit of such individuals inevitably leads to harm. They cannot be your ally, your partner, or anything else worthy of your trust. Someone who fabricates lies to boost their own ego or to feign affection for you is not acting in your best interest. Regardless of their intentions, a relationship built on falsehoods is destined to crumble. They have no genuine concern for you, and that fact alone should speak volumes. Even if you don't perceive them as an adversary, rest assured, they perceive you as one. Narcissists employ deceit to mask their contempt for others. Despite any doubts you may harbour, being targeted by a narcissist is evidence enough of their disdain towards you. Moreover, there's no quick fix for such animosity. They may excel at concealing it, but their actions betray them. Those observant enough can discern the dark, malevolent motives underlying the narcissist's lies, envy, arrogance, and avarice. As we draw to a close, I invite you to like and share this video with your peers if you found it beneficial. Your feedback is invaluable to us, so please share your thoughts and insights on this topic in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking the bell icon below.